How's it going guys, my name is Sears, if you're a RuneScape player looking for tips, tricks, and possible life hacks, you have come to the right place. I have a lot of tips to go over in this video, and the next video, and the next, so make sure you guys subscribe if you do enjoy, and throw a like as well, it helps me out so much. And remember guys, like I said, these videos are for mainly kind of low levels, medium players, but I guarantee you there is at least one to two high level tips that you probably don't know about in every video, so make sure you guys definitely stay tuned to the end. Let's get into it boys. So starting off at number one, let's take it to Castle Wars. You guys might know about this, but I know I didn't even know about it. I don't play too much Castle Wars, but I did actually do probably 10 games without doing this. So if you want to head over to Castle Wars, actually get an accumulator and a tractor out of your bank and actually use it on Lanthus, he will provide the effect of the arrows being picked up with your cape inside the minigame. You know, no matter what team you're on, Serotim and Zami, that is extremely helpful for anyone that wants to, you know, kick back and play some old Castle Wars. So moving on to number two, also kind of a newbie tip for new players, but this is really gonna help you guys out a lot, and especially in a demo mode and whatnot. I'm sure many of you new players, especially free to play, don't have a house of your own, yet alone a portal chamber inside, and you may not even have Varrock Tellies or Camelot, etc. But what you guys wanna do is head over to Draenor Village. Talk to Diango and pick up yourself a Chronicle book with a couple teleports, very, very cheap, and it'll actually teleport you right next to the Champions Guild, and it's free to play guys it is free to play and it's also really good on demo mode make sure you guys use that so it has been announced recently that runescape is going to be having its mobile coming in a couple months and this means so many new players guys so many and i'd say one of the big things they're doing wrong by the way this is a huge tip is uh, not researching the game fully either you know watching videos like this watching skill guides watching quest guides watching money making guides PK videos, all that type of stuff to just gain an overall knowledge of the game because guys there's so much to learn and uh, with this game being updated weekly, if you weren't here for a couple years, it's, it is 2007 scape, don't get me wrong, but so many things have changed, I almost want to say it's a new game, what do you guys think, is it? Is it turning EOC, you know, I'm kidding, it's far from that, but uh, you know a lot of changes have been made so definitely stay up on it, you know check out the homepage, watch the Twitch live stream. From the real RuneScape one, that's that's another side tip. Don't get lured into uh <laughs> into clicking on any links on the Twitch homepage, like any giveaways, double XP weekend. Yeah, yeah, don't don't do that. So it's pretty sad. A random bot will DM you. Uh, in that case, testicle bag is the person that PM'd me, and what it says is you want 150 mil. Search on YouTube Lopa822 to get it. So I'm about to do that and show you what's about to happen. One video, zero subscribers. You already know it's fishy when his freaking icon is just a random RuneScape character with a blue party hat. So, so to get the 150 mil, you have to post your RuneScape name into the thread in the first comment. So he commented the link, which I'm about to show you now. And what happens after is it tells you to log in. Now this is where you stop and you dip. This is where they get your freaking account. So basically, I just got, I guess, scammed not really hacked um so what happened was i've been up on night playing runescape i was doing some quest um because i need more quest points and after playing with rs all night i got off couldn't fall asleep got back and i saw a twitch streamer i can't believe i fell for this it's really bothering me to my core that this is the first time out of me ever using a computer and gaming, and I game a lot, I play a lot of games, um, that I fell for something like this. I saw the RuneScape staff streaming, but it wasn't actually them, it was just pre-recorded, and it had a link that said, click this link for double XP now, and I click it, I click this link, and I click log in without typing anything because my info is already there so I'm just assuming that it was the legit site. I don't know, I was training my attack. I got it from 60 to 65 tonight. I wanted to get it to 70, but I didn't really feel like grinding. Well, not really grinding. It doesn't take that long to get it to 70, but I just kind of want to do some quests and stuff. I was like, oh man, now that there's double XP, um, this is literally going to go twice as fast. It's going to gonna take not long at all I was so excited um so they stole all my money I got one coin left so with gambling in the form of staking in runescape at the duel arena there's quite a bit of urge for new players 
or just veterans, you know, once they actually finally get a cash stack, they're stable with their account, they want to go test out their stats, see what they can do, but there are so many scams, guys, and I'm not going to be going over any scams really in this video, but uh, basically just a few things you might want to watch out for. I'm actually thinking about doing a video very soon on uh, reasons you're getting scammed, reasons you're getting lured. Let me know if, if that's a cool idea. I think it'd be so fun to make. But yeah, guys, this one is simple. But yeah, guys, going over this setup, make sure everything looks clean. You know, if you're max combat doing like a 50-50 stake, this is what it should look like. Obviously, if you're a range tank up here, it's going to be a little bit different. I actually don't think it should be because you're doing basic no-arm weapon fights. That's what most stakes are nowadays, but something to look out for, guys, is them changing their presets. They'll do the right one, and then they'll switch it really quick. You won't even notice. I've been AFK. I've got scammed so much times in the last week or two. Another thing that's either quite clever is they'll either wield a Hasta, a D Warhammer, or like, or even like a Guthans plate body, and their character will be, you know, a female and she's brown. You couldn't tell. There's so many little scams. But I actually lost five mil due to a D Hammer scam. It's not even that big a deal. I think they can just hit a little bit higher, more accurate. But on the first hit, if you don't have the PID, you can actually regain it back. With the hammer, you lose no ticks. I don't understand how it works actually, but yeah, it happened to me. And another thing, of course, is the Hasta. Um, Hasta gives like 15 defense, not that big of a deal, but it could definitely matter considering how many stakes I've seen come to like 1, 2, 3 HP. But yeah, guys, watch out for that. So one thing I see in the Deep Wildy a lot is people trying to attack me, but they can't because they are one square away. If you don't know, I think Rapid on the Sibo hits like a 10 maybe? You know, like a 10 square distance, and I think that Barrage hits like 12 or 11. But uh, yeah, if you put it on long range, you can actually attack anyone. Do not do this as a peer, obviously. No! I stopped! I would, my wouldn't click and I stopped. Run. A few more PKing tips, one of them is to attack your player and then walk under him, attack him, walk under him, he can't actually see what gear or what switches you're going to do next and he can't attack you back so that is awesome. There is a downside, if there's multiple people like this clip guys, check this out, they owned me, these noobs owned me, they attacked me, um, you know, hid behind the fence and then they both logged out. Although I then attacked the next guy and basically pulled the same maneuver so he couldn't attack me. And this is how you guys want to do it, especially if it's like a death match or something deep wieldy, you know, no rules. It is life or death. You guys got to do anything you can to survive and win the fight. All right, my final PK tip. There's just so much jam packed in this small clip. Um, if you're doing a refreeze, whether it even be a snare, I believe, you know, on the regular spell book, but definitely ancients, guys, you want to wait one, two, three in your head. Or, you know, it depends how, how fast you count. Once you learn how to do it, you'll start to get it on the right, um, you know, the right timing. But yeah, guys, I caught this guy on the perfect timing. I waited a second. He got refrozen. Because honestly, I know when I go PKing with a couple friends, they're always like, refreeze, refreeze, refreeze. And I'm like, man, chill. You got to wait two seconds. Also, guys, real quick before we get into the next tip, I want to give my sponsor, Everfield, a huge shout out. Um, honestly, guys, check out this website. It is sick. I went and bought some merch a couple days ago and uh, should be here in a couple days. Should be tight. It looks so sick. They got so many sweatshirts. It's very cheap. And uh, make sure you guys use the 10% off Sears code. Hopefully you guys do find something. So with the new release of the Gargoyle Boss, it has dropped granite gloves. And these are um, very good gloves. I'm actually going to compare them with the RFD gloves. I went ahead and bought Mithril, Addy, Ruin, Dragon, and Barrows. Of course, I wasn't expecting like Barrows to be better, but I did just want to compare it. And looking over things, Combat Bracelet is roughly the same stats as Mithril and Addy gloves. And the uh, new Granite gloves are almost Ruin gloves. So, you know, if you guys can afford those and, you know, you're not a peer, I would definitely rock those. They look pretty swag as well, I'm not going to lie, with full granite. Fashion skate man, fashion skate. In my last tips and tricks video, a couple people recommended I use Redemption Prayer and the Phoenix Necklace. So I went to Clan Wars and it, it just failed terribly. It's so hard to actually, uh, you know, get someone to cooperate. So while the Redemption Prayer is activated, if I fall below 10% HP, the Redemption will kick in. I'll lose all of my prayer points 
and then it'll uh, give me my HP 25% of my prayer level. So if my prayer level was 80, I would get roughly eh, 20 HP back. And if you were to stack that with the um, 65 health that I showed in the previous video, you know, with the shark, kwamba, and pineapple pizza, and just go watch it, it's hard to explain. But if you were to stack that with the phoenix necklace, which gives 30% of your HP, if your HP drops below 20%, you'd be getting a huge combo, like 90 HP in one tick. That's it, that's insane. Alright, total change of topic, going back to some newbie lumberage stuff, I do find if I switch, you know, the ideas and the themes within the video, that it's more enjoyable and entertaining throughout, and uh, you still might learn some newbie stuff you didn't know about because you're so progressed, you haven't been lumberage in years. So we've all been to this point, do you go straight, do you go left, do you go right? Most of us keep following the path, but if you actually take a left, where this uh, hot patch is, you can do a little shortcut, and you guys can bypass the wizards, which is going to be my next tip. There's a, there's a few things to cover, honestly. I even went to Free to Play World. I trolled around. I, I killed a few people, guys. Almost, almost. Definitely take the left path in demo mode. It's much safer, and uh, you know it's a shortcut, guys. I take it every single time. I see everyone doing it, and you can teleport with the Book of Chronicle. End up in the same spot. So when you guys get to this location, most people just keep walking north straight to the south of Iraq. But if you actually, you know, spend a couple more seconds, you take a left around these trees, you're gonna bypass the wizards, especially if you're low level. This is gonna save you, uh, you know, save you a death or two. Might as well learn the lesson now, because quite a bit of nubs were getting worked on. These things are deadly. I think they hit sevens, maybe eights, maybe sixes, I'm not sure. But if you're not paying attention, you guys could definitely get comboed out, especially if you're low level. This is something I really want to cover. I've gotten a couple arguments with, you know, my teammates or even my IRL friends. So uh, first off, I've not got an argument about this. Green body, you cannot wear a green body unless you've done Dragon Slayer, but you can wear blue DI'd body, red, anything without the quest. So first off, the black DI'd body, honestly, for like 7.5k, this is the best item in the game, honestly. You can take it PK, you can take it high level PVM, it's still gonna hold up, it is still gonna be good. And um, compared to the, you know, blessed DI'd Seratum, you go with Zami, and it'd actually be even more. You're paying 300k for the exact same stats, just plus one prayer. It, it's not worth it, really, it's not, unless you're doing some PVMing or something. And then if you compare the black DI'd body to the Carols, the black DI'd body is actually better melee defense and you know the, the carols is really good for tanking any type of like max majors in the wildy but even then looking at the armadale armadale has a lot more 70 magic defense and then almost 60 range and 60 melee plus 33 range attack bonus and so yeah guys it shows black di body is not that bad compared to you know 33 mil chest plate or whatever it is right now we are coming to the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. It was so fun to make. It took me multiple hours on this one, but you know, it was worth it, guys. Jam packed so much tips in there. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. Like I said, if you did enjoy the video, throw a like and uh, check out Everfield, guys. Check out Everfield. It would mean so much to me. You know, I do get a small cut, helps me fund the channel, and uh, you know, just, just my bills, boys. So, yeah, guys, have a good one. Peace. Drinking. Oh.